What's up, my plant people? My name is Stacia. For those of you joining for the first time, this is Oops, I Saw My Planties, and welcome. For those of you coming back, welcome back. All right, you guys, so today what we're gonna do is a repotting of my Alocasia Carrizos Variegata, I think it is. Well, there's three plants in here and actually a fourth little baby growing, which kind of stinks because I don't want to lose it. But at the same time, my variegated alocasia, the bigger of the two, is not looking so great. I think what we're going to do is we're going to separate it out. Everything had spider mites, which of course I've been treating and working on because that's so fun. And I do apologize if you hear a ton of background noise today. I am filming from my garage and it is Florida in June and it's... Currently 93% humidity and 80 degrees out here, so it's a little bit warm, but I am a very messy repotter even when it's small plants, so I figured I would start doing this in the garage for the big plants. Um, I just don't want to have, have to clean my house every time I repot. So I figure out here, it'll be a little bit easier to clean up. I can just kind of brush everything onto the floor and then sweep it up and I'm done. Well, before we can start repotting, I actually need to mix up some soil. So what I've got, is this here is a potting mix from one of the nurseries I like here called Luca's and I am going to continue to dab sweat today folks I do apologize but it's hot um, and of course the day I decide to do this it's trash day so the garbage men have come by already so I had to wait for that now it's getting warmer and one of my neighbors has decided to do some work to their yard go figure I wish I had an air-conditioned garage. Well, no, I don't because everything out here is starting to grow so nicely. So I'm glad I don't have an air-conditioned garage, but damn, it's hot. Okay, so this is just some potting mix that I get from Luca's Nursery. It's one of the places that I like here. I have some perlite that I am going to use in the mix. And I'm going to throw in a little bit of orchid bark just for drainage. So I am going to go ahead and get that mixed up. So we can get to repotting these babies. Alrighty. Soil. And then as far as perlite goes, I mean, that's all I have left. But I use a decent amount. And then we're going to throw in a little bit of the orchid bark. I'm going to go ahead and give this a nice little mix. Alright. So there's the mix. Let's get this baby unpotted. So I'm just gonna massage the pot and then let's see what happens. All right, so that's pretty easy. Nice. Okay, now this is the fun part, the separating them. Because there are multiple plants, I want to just kind of gently massage now also because these are alocasia you definitely want to be very careful because they probably have tubers and you're going to want to pot the tubers up these roots are pretty wrapped around each other here just gently gently pull massage if a couple break it's probably not a big deal but you don't want to break a bunch of them because that can be very detrimental to your plant and you definitely don't want to do that. So here's my variegated, okay, and it's little baby. So I think what I'm going to do is leave the baby, uh, nah, that's got a pretty substantial root system. So I think we'll go ahead and give that its own pot. So let's set that down over to the side for right now. All right, here's the first alocasia. Some of these roots are not that great. So we're gonna pot that one up by itself. Let's set it to the side for right now. Actually, I'll just tuck it back down into that pot there. And then we've got this big daddy here. It's got a pretty good root system going still. And it's also got a little baby attached. I am going to look through for any tubers. Now the tubers are tiny and they're hard to notice sometimes, but here's one. So that's what the tubers look like. And you wanna just dig through and make sure that you're not leaving any of those in here. So we're gonna go ahead and set this puppy aside right down here. And then, I mean, of course, if there's any fully noticeable 
tubers. I'll pull those and pot those up. First, we'll start with the baby. Actually, no, we'll start with the big boy first, the one that still has a baby attached. So this is going to be the pot I'm going to use. I mean, I'm going to use some of this. So I'm just going to kind of sift through and make sure I'm not going to pot any of the tubers down too low in this pot. As I'm filling it, I'm just kind of sifting through in here first and seeing what's here. At you guys but when I repot stuff I leave a ton of room at the top of the pot just because I know that if I happen to water a little too much it's going to spill over the top of the pot so I leave room so it's not quite centered in the pot but I definitely have to water it in there's the first one on to the next one I actually think I'm going to continue to use this same pot and I'm just gonna put it in a cover pot for this one. And I'm gonna dig through and anything that appears to be a tuber or the tubers that I just recently buried, I'm gonna move and I'll put those up toward the top of the pot to give them a chance to grow. All right, so you guys, please don't think me heartless. I know I have not spoken out about what's going on in the world right now. Trust me, my family's heard me speaking out. It saddens me that our country, as free as we are, and as many opportunities as we have, that we still act like this. <sighs> Looting and violence and hatred is not going to get the point across that we are trying to get across. Unity, love, caring, that's the point. And if you're fighting and you're killing people, where is that gonna happen? And racism fucking sucks from any side. White, black, brown, pink, gray, purple, green. Racism is bullshit. And that's all I have to say about that. As far as in my home, we feel whether you're black, whether you're white, whether you're green, whether you're gray, whether you're gay, we love you because that's how we are in this family. Anyway, ugh, it just, like I said, it sickens me, it saddens me to the point where it makes me want to cry. That's why I don't speak out about it on my channel. <laughs> But I did want to touch on it just so you guys know, you know, those of you who follow me, those of you who care and watch and, you know, you know, I'm not blind and I'm not heartless. Um, okay, I think I've gotten all the tubers out of here. I'm going to take some of this old soil down to the bottom of this pot here. All right. And then we're going to bury old girl. Come on. We're going to put her in here all by herself. Let her shine because the other one was shading her out. Alrighty. And there she is all potted up by herself looking pretty. As you can see, she's got a lean on, but we'll get that straightened out as we start setting her in the right place. Okay. Now, last but not least is the baby and these tubers. So... I need a little more potting mix. Crap. Um, shit. Because this is not enough. And I am out of perlite. So, oh, I got a new kind of, oh my God, a new kind of soil here from the makers of miracle Grow. Yay. Goes to show you I didn't pay attention. All right, so this has got some perlite in it. Not much but we'll throw in a little more orchid bark <clears throat> than we did in the last one, just to give it a little bit more aeration. Oh, these, baby, these babies will probably like this, honestly. 
Okay. So we'll throw a little bit of this in the bottom. Get that out of the way. We'll add this. We'll take this cute little baby here. Give it a little hold for its roots. Bury those. All right, you guys, so that's everything potted up. I'm gonna go ahead and get my mess cleaned up and get everything watered in, and I'll be back to show you what everything looks like done. Guys, right, so thanks so much for watching me repot my alocasias today. Um, everything's looking beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and put it down where it's gonna live. I'll get you some footage. Thanks for hanging out. If you like this kind of content, definitely go down below and give this a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and mark the notification bell so you can get notified anytime I upload. I do hope to see you guys again. And as I always say here on my channel, come back. Let's hang out again. Bring your friends. If you don't want to bring your friends, that's cool because you guys are the reason I'm here and I'm doing this. I love you and I'll see you in my next one. Peace out. See the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up.